Y'all don't even know how long I have been waiting on this moment. Hello everyone. Hold on, let me just eat the rest of my banana. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing okay. Sorry, I'm really hungry. I went for a quick workout before. And I've been scrambling to take photos all, mo all morning long. Get that potassium? Hell yeah, bro. Omnitype, thank you again for the tier one, dude. I used to pray for times like this late at night. Wait, is the Bauer light a thing? It's still a thing. It's a, uh, despite what some people say, there's no relevancy really in keywords. Relevancy in a, a hobby is, in a hobby based off preferences, uh, redundant. I don't think, uh, I think relevancy is only really for objective pieces of a keyboard, not really the, um, I guess, more artistic side of things or just a rendition of things. I was eating banana in sus way. Whatever. It's a good banana. I actually like the bananas when they're a bit more green. I kind of like that tartiness of it. I like, don't get me wrong, I like when they're super sweet too, but. I kind of like that little, like that, that little, um, you know, kind of tardiness you get. Face cam banana, please. Nummy. What the heck? Seven tier ones? God damn, dude. God damn, dude. <laughs> Is it the banana? Thank you, Nummy. I appreciate the seven tier ones, dude. That really means a lot to me, man. Thank you so much, Nummy. Uh, love you too, buddy. Time for more boards. Unripe bananas overripe. Love the midday streams. Sparkles. Ivan, thank you, dude. Storm, thank you so much for the tier one. Yeah, I'll try to do more midday stuff. All right, one second. Actually, let me get some water too. I'm not, not, I'm not ready at all. All right, all right. I'm here. I love uh, brown bananas and, okay. My favorite bananas actually are like slightly underripe, I think. Yeah. I'm mad we don't have a face cam close up of Alex eating a banana. God damn, dude. <laughs> huh? Thank you, Omnitype. Huh? This is now a sponsored. I mean, I'm already sponsored by by Omnitype, so take take this for what it is. This this is me showcasing the board. I am still gonna be super critical. Well, not super because like I feel like with prototypes being super critical and being like an annoying like this is terrible is just a bad attitude to have. Um, but you gotta be my normal self. But thank you, dude, Garrett. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, man. Damn, bro. Thank you guys. I seriously, dude. Come on, man. Banana bread. Banana bread's so good with chocolate chips. So good. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do we're gonna do this stream a little different this time around, dude. This camera is giving me problems. I don't know what happened, bro. I, I have no idea. But this camera was set to like all the wrong settings when I when I uh, turned it on, and I'm just like I'm like what the hell's happening here? Thank you again, man. Thank you guys for the follows too. Thank you guys for the subs. Jeez, dude. Well, red line is fire. Isn't this a beautiful little Kohaku with red line? It's nice, right? You're professional sub dodger, bro. This is my first time here. What's up, Thang? How you doing? I'm really curious to see how the Bauer Light fares in today's market of keeps. It's it's an interesting conversation. And okay, kind of talking about today's market. I think today's market of keeps goes. Um, sea bass. Thank you so much for the tier one, man. Okay. Whoa, a bow light. Yeah, dude. I think today's market of keeps is the following. Correct, correct me if you guys think different. I think this is just my viewpoint of things. It's 
we have a large market for accessibility in keyboards, right? I think there is a huge market for that. I think more people enjoy that. I think more people enjoy not having to, you know, fork out an arm and a leg for their chance at something and have and like having that availability. So things like the Bauer Light and things like KBD fans and a ton of other things really do well in today's market. So nice. So I don't I think can. it's thank you so much. I appreciate that, Meffer. I think it's I think it's a good thing that we have more stuff like this. You know? Different stylings, whatever. Um now, I think the other side of the market that's people think is slowing down, but I think it's just balancing off nowadays is the high-end market. So, for example, if this came out and this was $600, you know, that's the part where it might struggle a little bit because not everyone in today's market, oh gosh, should be, um, you know, can afford things. But that's kind of my viewpoint. I, I think there is a great market for this stuff. This is not final packaging, by the way. This is just sample packaging. But the, I have a few different colors. This is the first edition, which I don't think, I think um, HomniType said this edition's like up in the air still. So we're probably gonna not do this one here. But I was thinking between these two, I took out the um, some stuff from these, but I'm thinking either the Atomic, which is like that perf the, the perfect purple that matches with, uh, you know, the game was it the GameCube or N64 purple kind of thing, Nintendo purple? Or we got a Ghost, which is like a, uh, I think everyone's gonna pick Atomic. Atomic or Ghost? Ghost is like a gray. They're both see-through though. Atomic sounds hella nice. All right, what's cool about this too, guys? <clears throat> ghost because you ghosted me last night? Tim, I'm so sorry. T Tim, I literally sat down and fell asleep last night. I, I was doing stuff and then I, I sat down and passed out. Kim, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you. Tim, we're gonna talk today though. I messaged you. <laughs> I messaged you, dude. Hair's looking good. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. All right. Um, I, I've seen the final packaging, but uh, I'll just leave this kind of like up in the air for right now. The final packaging is really nice. Even this packaging is kind of nice. What's cool about this box though, I don't know if the box is gonna retain this, is it has that Bauer lip on the bottom. So kind of kind of neat. Uh, thank you 6306 for the tier one, dude. Yeah, the ghost is like, it is clear. I feel, I feel like it has a, a hint of gray in it, but this is the purple here. This is awesome. This literally brings back memories. Can we see them both? Yeah, I can see them both. That's a good purple, very Game Boy, exactly. Dex, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that, dude. Here, I'll take it. Is this the uh, ghost one? I want to see GMK DMG on this. I actually don't have that set. How do they compare to the CNC polycarbonate ones? I mean, this is injection molded. So injection molding is always going to have some, I'd say vanity, vanity, minor vanity blemishes and flaws as always. Actually, maybe this does lean towards more of like a clear. I don't know. I feel like it does have a hint, a hint of gray, but I think that's just probably the material. I call it gray. Anyways, this, that's just the way I perceive it. This is cool too. I kind of like the purple one more. I don't know if you guys want to go with purple. We have different tops that he sent as well. We can play around. What, what do you guys want? Atomic or this? Um, top tier on this? I know I need that set. We could be, we could live on the dangerous side of things and go atomic and put dual shot on it. So nice. That's the dangerous Atomic route. people arrive. <laughs> Thank you, Star. I appreciate the tier one, man. That's the, that's living dangerous. Where'd I get that desk pad? This is from a uh, key mat. I vote Atomic, dangerous for the wallet, that too. All right, let's see. So again, packaging all could potentially change guys, but uh, I don't know. Packaging seems really simple and nice. I kind of like the way it is right now, to be honest. I finally caught my first Alex stream. What's going on, Yellow? How you doing, man? Can you show the ghost again? I missed it. Yes. I was like, where's the box? Uh, any idea what the price might be? Um, Omnitype, what's the price gonna be? How much would this be? I think that's the, the better question. That's ghost. If you guys wanna see from this side. They're both kind of cool. 
I'm doing good, bro. Hell yeah, bro. My day has been okay so far. I think the best part about this was the workout. Um, I uh, was happy I got that in. The only thing that will change in the final outer, oh, the under sleep. Yeah, the internals are fantastic. 180 is your prediction. Do you guys have predictions about the price? Um, actually, is this supposed to be in stock? I believe it is, I wanna say. Y'all are gonna put a price out, uh, price out me. Mr. Wait, Buddy, been following you on YouTube. Thank you, MCK. Life is just crazy. Thank you, dude. It's in stock, so what do you guys think it's gonna be? I'll be honest, guys. I have an idea of what the price is. But I'm gonna let Omnitype say it because I think he know, like he has the exact price, obviously. 150, 169, 195, uh, 150, 199. So you guys think it's gonna be like in between the 150 to 250 dollar range? Two and a half, to 420, 69. Yeah, for real. Thank you guys. I really appreciate the subs, by the way, guys. Art. RMCK, thank you so much. Start, Dextrous, 6306, Kim, Meffer, thank you guys all so much. We have our plates, we have hot sub standoffs, which I think I've ever, ever used only once ever in my keyboard building career. Nice Wilba Tech PCB. We're not skimping out on the PCB, let's go. Uh, I would go with Alu, personally. But if, I mean, like for more balanced sound signature, you might wanna go with uh, carbon fiber uh, kilos. 179 is your final guess. 189, 139, 188. Hello, you handsome king. Oh my God, please. Don't call me a king when I know you're the real king here. I would suggest stand-ups just to help with the plate. Those sample plates are a little bit wonky. Okay. It's been a long time since I've installed standoffs. We'll do it. Little uh, Wilbatech. Wilbatech plate. This is the Bauer light plate. So what's the price gonna be then? I think uh, we have enough guesses. Alex is a humble king. You guys are too kind, man. Uh, there will be a weight option in the future as an add-on, not at launch though. That's good to know. That's also very good to note too. It's like there's other stuff in here, but it's not coming out. We have our gaskets. So um, I did talk to Omnitype about like, damn dude, 119 is the price. 119.99. 120. That's not bad. Nice price. That's not bad at all. I think that's pretty in line for like that's that's competitive, I'd say. Tiger light prices? Yeah. You get a good PCB with that. Jesus Christ, that's a low barrier to entry. Yeah, that's very good. Traveler, thank you so much for the tier 1, dude. Oh, Hope you on. are enjoying your like M11. I use my M10D as my everyday oh. carry. Is that a 35 millimeters Summicron on the camera? It is. I was gonna get a Sumi, Sumi Lux, but the price difference is astronomical. And uh, honestly, for that extra, what, half a stop that I'm never gonna use on a 35 mil? Um, well, at least for what I do, I didn't find it worth it. Plus I kind of like the coloring of the Summicron. I said it from the beginning, my goal was to give everyone the best quality keyboard experience for the least amount of money. Can we get some some claps for Omnitype? Some claps, dude. That's huge. Now, the just to like let you guys know too, actually there was some foam in the kit too, but it's only in one of my kits because these are prototypes. Just so you guys see, there is some foam. I think we're not gonna build it with foam today. Um, it's Gar Garrett was basically saying that he added the foam for people who wanted a more foamy sound signature or for people who didn't necessarily like want to lube switches or not confident in lubing switches, stuff like that. Okay, Garrett was very adamant that I showed this off on stream. <laughs> he said he put a lot of work into this, all right? Omnitype basically said, please show this on stream. This is a very detailed, large, pretty thick build book. It's, it's, a, it's an all about building book. I built a lot of Bowers already, so I kind of understand how to do this. There is one new part to this Bower light. It's a noob book. I think I spent more time building the build guide than the board. <laughs> That's appreciate it. Look at this. It's in color too, Christ's sake. That's pretty wild, dude. There's actually a lot of good information in here. How to install your switches. Wow. Donut bumpers. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty impressive. I low key wish I realized how thick this was so I could have read this all before screen. 
I thought this was only a few pages for some weird reason in my head. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, does it say on there how to make money? I don't see a section. Pretty nice for an entry level board. And then the other thing that um, Omnitype mentioned that's not in this is gonna be a pair of tweezers. So that's not here, but imagine a pair of tweezers. The only thing Alex reads is chat. I try. Uh, these are the new donut bumpers for the top. So it doesn't have normal gaskets. It has like some donut. I think these are the bumpers or these screws. These are the bumpers. So these are gonna be the only new part. I love what you did with your MX Master. Thanks, dude. I like it too. All right. We're gonna move this stuff to the side and uh, show you guys a little bit more of the board here. This is gonna be fun to take pictures of. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be super sweet to take pics. Now guys, this is a prototype. If there's some weird oddities with it or just some like scuffage, we're gonna ignore some of it. Um, I think Omnitype and I were talking about eventually receiving a, I've been preaching that this is not Wait, that is, wait, what? I've been also preaching that this is not an entry level board. It just happens to be cheaper. Oh, that's good then. As long as you're confident in it, I'm confident to, to finally to build this too. So pretty cool. Oh, are the gaskets already installed in this one here, Garrett? Do the gaskets come pre-installed like this or uh, did you do this? I can't wait to see the other colors. I can show you guys. I don't know if this is gonna be the whole case, but I define entry level as something that's that's under, okay, here. I personally define entry level keyboards in this hobby as something that's not above retail of major brands. Because I feel like it's, you know, if you were gonna spend 200 bucks on a Steel Series or whatever is popular right now, um, to me, like that's in line of entry level to buy a keyboard. Or yeah, a high-end board that's not gonna be as expensive. Would you consider the Zoom entry? I personally do, but there are people who like, because there's add-ons, people get all fucking huffy and puffy about it. Bauer 2 is still one of my favorite boards. To me, it's a very unique sounding. Yeah, I think the Bauer was very unique sounding too. Uh, this is a nice smoked color. I think this, this red is kind of cool. This red is super neat. I like this red a lot. Uh, mix and match. We could today, but I low key wanna. I don't know. I'm very like. I like my. I like my solid colors. You guys know how I am with that. Okay, put that to the side. All right, I need to do stabs because that's probably gonna be the, the longest part about today's build. Because it should be a overall simple thing. I like the red. That's really good. Yeah. Can we buy tops? I think, I think you can. It's all injection molded, yeah. To me, entry level means that there, this is made with the goal to be as cheap as possible and all the decisions are to, um, made with cost involved. I did not do that. I didn't cut corners to make it cheap. Everything on the board was custom, screws, feet, bumpers, even the threaded inserts. Ooh, is there threaded inserts? I haven't even gotten to that point of the build step yet. Oh, there is. Crazy how an $120 board can include, 200, uh, include uh, threaded inserts and then some $600 boards skip that. Pretty wild to me. Pretty insane, dude. I don't know where the other screw is in this one here. Pretty insane. Uh, <sighs> Bub, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Tell us what you hey, really dude. think. Uh, let's see, what's the PCB like here? What options do I get? Seven to you. Okay, perfect. Is there gonna be a solder roll PCB for this? I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard since this is a Wilbur PCB and I'm pretty positive he already offers one, but what are my current top switches for alloy plates? What board? That's also important too. I've been really enjoying cherry switches for those. I've been really enjoying uh, Cap V2s, KTT Roses, stuff like that. One, two, three. We actually don't need a whole crap ton of stabs today, but I do need to trim some of these. Uh, is there a foam option? There is foam. You can use foam, but I'm probably not going to use foam today. And uh, I mean, it is hot swap, so worst case scenario, we just do that later. Looks like a thermal PCB. I think so, right? 
borrows from that. I don't know if it's, uh, I think Omnitype mentioned that there's some aspects of this that might've been done just for this, but it's too early for this. PCB is beautiful. I'm sorry it's too early, guys. I'm sorry if it's a little too early. I'm all for PCB standardization. Actually, me too. Actually, me too. Very pretty. Very, very pretty PCB. Uh, is this a Win Keyless 65? It is indeed, as you guys can see. So you have your arrows there. I think this PCB does have split backspace. I think I'd like to see a full backspace option for this. But again, prototype PCB. PCB comes in production kit will be lighter gray. The PCB you have testing, uh, the PCB you have was testing the hot swap. Oh, okay, the light PCBs will have a light gray, okay. Never seen a wind keyless 65, not gonna lie. I built one or two. They're not my, like that particular layout isn't my favorite thing in the world, but there are some people who really like, I found out a few streams ago, because someone had mentioned about 65s being split backspace and how they really liked it. And I found there's actually a large subset of people who actually really likes 65s as split backspace. I was under the impression that nobody liked it. But uh, you learn something new every day. Gotta keep an open mind to that, I suppose. Uh, I won't buy wind keyless boards. All preference. I still like my wind keyless stuff, even though I'm on an Apple computer right now. Like the Suse, oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. That Suse is beautiful with the wind keyless. I still like my, I just like the aesthetic of it. It's a little tough functionality wise now because the Apple computer, but wind key's the way to go. I have been noticing there's been a large shift of people to wind key lately, for sure. I've been enjoying college uh, and life in general recently. I haven't been watching your streams as much as of late, but it's really helped me in the dark times when my father passed away. I wanna thank you for doing everything you do. Bro, anytime, man. I hope you're doing, like, obviously it sounds like you're doing really great and I'm so happy for that, man. So, so happy. Um, It's a new custom thing. Wait, the, the plate has something? The plate has an option to break away the support used for split backspace. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, so it doesn't just sit there. That's kind of neat, actually. So if you do, do decide to go with full backspace, you can do just break that up. That's interesting. Wind key is one of those things I found myself using more and more as I learned about shortcuts. You know what's funny about that, Ben? On Windows, couldn't care less. On Apple, I like having the three buttons. It's so weird. But on Windows, I never use it, man. What's the plate material? Um, I think it's just the same as the rest of the case, so... I'm assuming like a polycarb. That's very clever. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, let's loop some stabilizers. Uh, random, but I think the Wu Che Stellar keycaps on Mechlin look so nice. Wu Che has some interesting stuff. I've always appreciated their eye for things as well. They have fun designs. Damn, someone just like screamed outside. Uh, in fact, in games, I hit my Windows key more than I do when I'm... Really, you use it in, in games? Oh, you're just by accident, you mean? Do you guys remember? This is a throwback. This might be for all the uh, older, people, op older people in chat. Do you guys remember when mainstream like brands were releasing keyboards with a, a gaming feature that you clicked it and it disabled the Windows key? It was a game mode. And that's all it fucking did was just disable the Windows key. I was, dude, I remember when that came out, I'm like, oh baby, the technology. And then now I realize it's not that different. It's not that difficult to do. But I thought that was like hella big technology back in the day when I was younger. I, I didn't realize, man. So useful. That was cringe. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> looking back at it now, it's like, that was really simple. Gotta go watching Chelsea versus Real Madrid. Enjoy soccer, dude. Enjoy. I took off wind key caps and never, I remember 
Okay, I don't remember what keyboard this was. Do you guys remember a keyboard? I think it was by Steel Series. That it had like I, I bought it for Guild Wars at the time. But it had like a, a, a faceplate that you put on it, and it changed the way that the, the macros were set up, depending on what faceplate it was. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Gilded was a classic. I think there was also like a WoW faceplate for it. I just don't remember what keyboard it was. Use the Windows button and the arrows keys. You can thank me later. Well, I think that moves around. What that? That's like an alt tab type thing. I think. Doesn't ring a bell. Sounds familiar. Uh, Carlson made a, vi a video about that keyboard, so I'm not going crazy, right? I accidentally put that in that. Wait, I accidentally put that in the, that mode, and I thought I broke my keyboard. Oh, the gaming mode. I had the WoW one. The thing is still at my parents' house. I just wish I knew what it what is called. We had it for a brief period of time, but we ended up hating the keyboard. Uh, is there a date for this? That you're gonna need to ask Omnitype. That is actually a piece of information that I don't actually have. He might have sent it to me before the stream, but. Oh, the Z board. Dude, that's literally what it was called. Yeah, that was it. The Z board. That's what it was called, dude. That one there had like a Battlefield 2142. That's what it was called. It was by Steel Series, right? Bye, a lot of Liam. Take care, dude. Appreciate for being here. The Z board. I think right now the biggest, the new trend that I'm seeing is. I'm already seeing like a few companies pop up with it. Is uh doing like what Final also doing with the centerpiece. Saw so flux keyboards too. This is it here. Let me see this thing. That's it, man. Wait, was it just by Zboard? I thought this was by Steel Series for some weird reason. Holy shit. What memories, man. That's hilarious. That's a lot of memories. Hold on, I want to look this up more. Been loving these morning streams, uh, editing and listening. Let's go, Luther. I'm glad you like them, man. The Z board. Yeah, you could take off that pad too. Yeah, I had the World of Warcraft one. That thing's pretty cool, not gonna lie. It was bulky, tell you guys that much. It was gigantically bulky. That's so funny. It was kind of expensive if I don't, if I don't, um, misremember i believe the price was kind of up there too before a uh, split space bar before it was a thing yeah uh, that keyboard there man i wonder what the price was brand new i don't remember was the graphic a sticker no it was like uh you slotted it in or something and then it recognized which mode it was in i don't remember four now months exactly. of wholesome key and life stuff thank you so much man i'm hoping you guys find the streams Always helpful and just very relaxing. What's the release date, release date for this board? Um, that we're gonna need to ask Omnitype. I'm not sure if he mentioned something, but that is an Omnitype question. I don't actually have a... Oh yeah, people are asking for a rough date of release. All right, let's put this in. So I actually haven't heard a sound demo of this. I think Garrett's built this already on his streams, but I haven't heard a sound demo of this quite yet. Where's my dial electric grease? Oh boy, did I move it around again? I had it in my hand this morning, tell you guys that much. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? Hopefully we can meet up tomorrow, my man, and grab some grub. Hell yeah, Prees. I need to fix your uh, girlfriend's keyboard too. I wonder what's wrong with the space bar. Maybe just some wear and tear or a bad switch. Um, hold up. I need to find my, hold on one second. Where's my freaking dielectric grease? Watch it be like right in front of my face. I've been doing this a lot lately. I think it's right here. Watch it be right here. 
is. In my tool case with everything else where it's supposed to go and I always never check. Uh, the next month or two, summer for sure. Let's go, dude. Is that top 20 realm player at Apreze? Apreze is sick and nasty at the games he plays. XHT for spacebar? Nah. No XHT today. It's too messy for me. It's too messy. I put my scissors where I put my tape, and my tape where I put my scissors, I feel you. I, I specifically installed like a little shelving area just for tools. And I, so my ideology was to put tools I don't use there. But I also don't like keeping things, like if I'm really trying to focus in on work, I don't like keeping things on my desk. So I've been putting my tools that I'm using every day there too. And I, I have another spot that I used to keep my tools and I always think I put it there by accident. I just gotta get rid of the other spot, you know? Dissembled the keyboard with XSG BDZ and it was literally everywhere. Yeah, it's really messy. It's really good. It's just messy. Always uh, somehow ends up in the hot top sockets. The, the lube? Is that the purple, like the N64 controller? I wish I had, I, okay, I actually do have this color N64 controller at my parents' house. I low key should have grabbed it last time I was there. Cause I thought, I think that could have been like a really cool comparison. I should have. Go get it for the photos. I think I will. I think I have to for the photos. What's up, random Frank P? What's going on, dude? Some atomic purple? It is, yeah. Very atomic. Um, What's up? What's up, clackbait? How you doing, man? Finally a build of this thing. Let's hope, it's, let's hope it sounds and feels good. All right, typical will of a PCB. Let's move this shit out of the way. Dude, I ordered tape like a week ago and Amazon still hasn't delivered it. So I'm run, I have like maybe two, three feet of uh, masking tape left. I'm so sad about that. So Cancerous 86 gifted thank a tier you, man. one I appreciate sub to Random cancerous. Frank. And thank you, TPK. They I appreciate have given you, man. 254 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, guys. How hype is this board? Work it's been stream a long time always coming. hits diff less than three. Thank you, dude. I sent in an N64 in the color matcher. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. Those old 20 year old plastics can change colors over decades, but I tried to find the most pristine looking one to match. Oh, yeah, that's kind of true, too. I never thought about that. I wonder if my perception of the atomic purple has changed in the last X amount of years too. Typical little bit PCB, a little bit of a banana curve with this, but usually it fixes itself. So, ah, damn, dude. oh my God. Tech, thank you so much for the five tier ones, man. Appreciate you, dude. That means a lot, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's put this on and then I'm gonna screw in, actually probably do this first. Let's put these hot swap standoffs. Mm, that I need still, so I'm just gonna put it over here. My uh, desoldering gun the other day decided to, the tip decided to just like give out and it just gets clogged instantly no matter how clean it is, so. Elkwan gifted a tier one sub to Fuzzinator row Bro, seven. Thank you, Elkwan. I they appreciate you, They have given 70 dude. gift subs in the channel. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Hold on, let me get my, uh, I know what this is. I was taking, for some reason I was taking pictures of it. Ah, oh, man. My room feels smaller with this big light, which I was lamenting getting, but it's okay. Mr. Bingo, thank you so much for the prime, bro. Did the tip for the news? No, not yet. This, it says it's coming in Friday. And I did put in a ticket for all the other ones that I ordered back in December that I never realized never shipped out even, um, or did ship, but I have no idea where they are. So I, I guess I'll wait for that. I'm still a little confused to what even happened with those. <laughs> so we'll see though. We shall see what bit is this. What's up, boss? Hey, dude. Actually, let's refer to the building manual because I'm not too sure which screws go on the bottom, which ones go on the top. Let us see. Install your thing that can't yet. Yeah. All right, so the sunk ones go, the counter sunk ones go in the top. Wow, a build manual that 
is hella easy to use. The Lego build manual, it's kind of nice. Well, there's two different bits with this. Read us a bedtime story. Oh, these are a very big bit, actually. That is probably the best manual I've seen for a keyboard in my life. It is very detailed. I can show you guys again here in a bit, too. I kind of wish this one here was magnetic, but it's so cute. It has been what I feel like has been a long time. I don't even like this. Since I put standoffs in a keyboard. This has been a very long time. Honestly, they don't do a whole lot for me, but they can help straighten out a uh, keyboard. Such a detailed build guide for 119. Actually crazy the nice thing. Dude, I, I think... You know, not for nothing because we haven't actually built it yet. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on like how I like the sound and stuff. But right now I'm having a great build experience with this. Build experience is very important to me too. I've always said this since like day one. If you have a good build experience with materials, you know, at arm's reach and things just feel fluid, you're going to have like a nice, a nice time. Like it's, it's a memory that you're going to have, right? So it's always nice to have a good build experience. Outside of things you can't control, of course. Melody switch is OP. So this is a wind keyless split backspace only. No, I think the, I believe the final product will have an option for full backspace. I think that's what Garrett said. I hope, I, I hope so because I kind of want that too. And uh, the plate does offer like a change up to do full backspace as well. As you can see, there's a thing you can clip off here. <clears throat> it will, perfect. And there should be one more right there. There we go. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight, guys. I think maybe chicken. I kinda want fish though. I don't know, I don't know what I want. I haven't really eaten all that much today. I haven't really been in the, uh, the, the mood, but uh, I'm gonna check the VOD. Peace, bye Saren. But I should eat something soon today. Step caps um, support or only regular caps. It'd be nice to see a step caps and regular caps for the final product because, yo, step caps is kind of OP looking. So it would be nice to see that as well. I have a recipe for you. Bro, share it up. Step caps is too OP. Step caps looks sick on any board. Did you screw in the stabs? Nope, they're clippings. I don't think we did the step caps because of the hot swap being hard to flip on R3. Oh, causing clearance problems. I'm gonna be honest with you, from my experience, Omnitype, having the uh, step caps option on hot swap doesn't usually feel like it gets affected by anything. So I'm gonna say usually it's it feels like it's okay, but I mean, you're the designer here. If it, you're saying that it, it does have some uh, clearance issues, but from my experience, it usually feels A-OK. -okay. Abe, thank you so much for the Prime, bro. Thank you, dude. Thanks for being here. All right, so that's done. We screwed all this in together. Ooh, BBQ Salmon Mango Salsa. Ooh, this does look good. I don't think I've ever tried like mango and salmon. Salmon's so good. I like... Uh, Please, please don't refrain from the stereotypical Alex jokes, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. I really like um, ma maple syrup salmon, like maple glazed salmon. It's really good. I, I just like maple syrup. So do you have GMK DMG? I do not, no, I do not. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Canada, nice one, Canada man. Lightly salted flavor. But yeah, you have to understand who the lightly salted's for. The lightly salted flavors are for people who like literally can't have a lot of sodium. They should be not eating chips in my opinion, but. Oh, did I miss a, oh, I did miss one. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rectify that right now. Uh, glazed any meat is always a banger. It is, dude. It really, really is. How can I do this? Let's see. We'll just do like. We're gonna. Finesse it in there. Bam, bam. 
Salmon, yeah. Unsalted kettle, chi kettle, kettle chips. Unsalted kettle chips. Huh. I have never heard anyone ever mention unsalted kettle chips before. Ever hurt yourself with ruffles? So never with ruffles. But if you guys are familiar with ruffles chips, they have this new one, like the two times ridged ruffles or the extra ridged ruffles. I actually have hurt myself with those. Those I actually have. Those ones there are tough. Unsalted pink salt, huh? The, oh my God, the for her pleasure. Oh my gosh, dude. Captain Crunch cuts the roof of your mouth. I don't feel like getting into spicy cereal takes today, but um, I also do feel like getting into spicy cereal takes. I'm gonna be honest, Captain Crunch kind of mid. And all, if it just, you know, if it cuts the roof of your mouth, it's just, a, it's just a mid cereal and it gets lower from there. You know what I mean? So Lucky Charms, those are, those are, if there's like a worst cereal that I've ever, like the worst cereal I've ever had in my entire fucking life, it'd be Lucky Charms. Absolute dog shit. I think, I think like those healthy, like brand cereals are way better than Lucky Charms. Mini Wheats, okay, but Mini Wheats are actually pretty good. Just, you can't put a lot of milk. If you put too much milk, mini wheats are ass. They get soggy and they, they, they're just not good. Lucky Charms are a little trash. Yeah, they're, they're, they're terrible. Who hurt you? I'm sorry. But I stand by what I said. I stand by it, dude. Granola cereals are amazing, dude. Um, fruity Pebbles and Cinnamon Toast. I've never had, I mean, I don't think I had Fruity Pebbles. Cause I think the idea of like a fruity cereal is just not really my cup of tea, but. All right, the gaskets are already on this guys. I think Garrett put it on this one here. <sighs> if you guys want, I can open up another one and just put it on if you guys want to see that, but. Civil War is about to break out in this chat. <laughs> June Dog, every time we have, I have a spicy food take, it always does. Okay, so those are the gaskets. We don't have to put them on here, but just so you guys see them. Um, I'm gonna put the switches in first though. Where I put my bowl of switches? Oh, here it is. Favorite of all time? Like my cereal? My, my top tier cereal. Hmm. Top tier cereal for me anyways. Um, oh, I added the foam strips, a uh, little indent to make it a little easier to install. It was a huge thing. The foam strips, little, oh yes, that was a huge thing. Actually, I'll talk about that in a second. My top cereal in the world though. This is very specific. But it's not like what you guys probably would think. It's actually a, a brand that makes like a granola cereal. It's called Love Crunch. In particular, it's a coconut and dark chocolate. It's delicious. It's probably the, like, I just wish it wasn't so fucking expensive. It's the best cereal I've ever had. What are these switches? These are haze switches. Old man, oh, come on, bro. Coconut and dark chocolate for breakfast? Yeah. Literally no. Okay, and then second place, second place is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Why is Cinnamon Toast Crunch more acceptable than dark chocolate and coconut? Because I already know people are gonna say yes. Yeah, look, look, we already have a let's go to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because sugar, they both have sugar. Coconut, anything is a no-go. Cinnamon milk, that's true too. You do get cinnamon milk. I dislike cinnamon, but cinnamon toast crunch fucking rips. Yeah, it does. It's so good, man. It is delicious. You gotta love cinnamon toast crunch, dude. Alex, have you been to Sugar Shack yet? I, I don't think they have one of those here in Canada. I think we talked about this. Or if there is, I've never been to one. OG tricks, tricks or whatever. Honey bunches of oats. Oh, uh, those are okay too. I don't mind them. What's up, Nine? How you doing? This is a repeat of last time. It is. Hey, switches, I see. Yeah, so the reason I wanted to go with these is because I know I like them. So I'm already a fan of these switches. So I decided to go with a switch that I know I liked instead of, I have a feeling these are a good pairing as well. We could try a few different switches just in different areas for the sake of testing. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another build because I have a few of them that we can take a look at. Um, 
brunch, a bunch of, cel- oh, I think it's a brunch, because we're talking about food. A bunch of celebrities in here. I know everyone, everyone here is a celebrity, bro. All of you guys. Oh, Sugar Shacks in Quebec. Yes, you guys told me about this. Never mind, I remember now. I remember now, I remember now. Ollie, you're well known, please. You guys are all my friends and well known, all right? Everyone. Have you tried Maple Crisp? I can't say I have. You know one thing I didn't know that wasn't in America, at least I don't think is in America? Uh, apparently America doesn't have fudgios, which is, I, I don't know, I, th- I thought America did. Yeah, see? Am, am I getting the name wrong? Hold on, now I'm fucking, I'm, I had to, my brain just fried there for a second. Hold on, hold on. Fudgeo. Pretty positive I'm not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fudgeo. No, I'm right. I just spelled it wrong. Yeah, you guys don't have these. Let me send you guys, actually you guys can look it up. It's just Fudgeo, F-U-D-G-E-E-O. They're like Oreos, but all chocolate. I thought you guys had these for sure, but I, I learned kind of recently you guys don't. Gonna make me add quacks into VOD hyperlapse? I'm sorry, Manoli, I won't say fudge again. Sounds like dehydration? Huh? Never seen this in BC either? Really? Fudgios are so good. Yeah, they're really good. Why would I want double chocolate? That's too much? Why wouldn't you? Yeah, dude, the Oreo, you know what Oreo flavor that I low key like, but also like some days is too much? The mint Oreo flavors. Some days I'm like, yo, these, like once in a blue moon, I'm like, this tastes awesome. And then sometimes it's just God awful. Mint is a no for chocolate. Usually, really? Mint chocolate's very popular. What's my favorite 65 at the moment? It's a mix up, it's a toss up between a few few things, but right now like my top 65s are Envoy, uh, Kohaku, and Suse. Those are like the ones I use all the time. Fake mint is gross. Do you have girl? I don't think we've ever had Girl Scout cookies here, or at least I've never had them. I don't even know where one would obtain those, so... Nana, nah, nah, thank you so much for gifting a tier Nine, one I go, go gifted a tier one sub to one NSD, one G8 tour. They have given 46 thank you, thank you, dude. subs in the channel. No Girl Scout cookies? Fellow Toronto people. Um, no data was returned. I think Nine Nice thing is broken. Uh, <laughs> fellow Canadians, have, is there Girl Scout cookies here? I'm pretty positive there's not. I, I, I don't think so. We going to brunch? Where are you guys going? It'd be interesting to see where you guys are going because I kind of know some most of the brunch spots, I guess. I'm definitely down. Girl Scouts are a refill. I don't know. Amer- Apparently they sell them in Quebec. Why does Quebec have all the cool things? Where would I find these switches? Uh, they're on Key Spencer. They're they're already lubed, and I have to admit, I think the brand I I, I always fuck up the pronunciation of this. Athelion, Athlion, they actually do really good pre-lubed switches or factory lubed. They claim they're hand lubed, which I still can't wrap my head around. Like, how do you have that many switches that are hand lubed? Something about them are kind of weird. I I don't know if they're actually hand lubed. I have no idea. I think someone's released a video of them hand lubing it on like a production line or something. Two years, wow, are we glad I could catch your stream. Hey Wolf, thank you so much for the tier one, man. I'm glad you're here, man. But um, like I said, I find it a little hard to believe because they're, they're that good for stock stuff, but I'm just gonna go I'm gonna roll with it, I suppose. I'm gonna be um, spending a whole day lubing Oil Kings soon. You actually don't need to apply too much extra lubed Oil Kings. You really don't. It, it's a little bit more of like a neutral amount of lube that you have to put. But it's all preference, right? All preference. Angry, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. All right. 
You know what? I didn't even think about this. Low key, guys, I did not think about this. Did I lose a screw somewhere? Oh, I did over here. Um, I guess I, did. I need to tighten some of these. I picked a good switch choice because they're kind of purple to go with this. I didn't realize I did that. Good for me. Good for me, dude. Because look, we got purple stems. Kind of goes with the theme today. In Canada, the Girl Guides of Canada Cookies. Oh, I didn't know that. What's a good tactile that is very light with a strong tactility? I would just pick something like a Gazoo switch up and just spring swap them at that point. You know? So this is hot swap, but any regular backspace and step caps. There will be a regular backspace Omnitype said, but perhaps no step caps. We might be limited on that. All right, so now, wait, I need the daughter board. Where'd I stick that thing? Let's put the daughter board in. Switch back to this view. The board is just beautiful like you. Come on, bro, don't make me blush. Don't make me blush right now, dude. What springs do you use when you spring swap? I tend to go with 55 gram springs, but um, everyone's gonna be a little different, right? Everyone's gonna be a little different for what springs they prefer. I do wish these screws were magnetic though. If that could be another change, that would be a stunning change. <clears throat> Has there been anything said about the so having a solderable PCB? I think if he did say something about that, I must have missed it. Yeah, I wish these screws were magnetic. That would be an awesome change. Let me get this pair of tweezers. We can't make the change now for step caps um, for the first release of everything. Oh, you guys can read that. I want to put the screw in quick. <clears throat> How much is this again? It is 119 according to Omnitype. That is the current price of this being being said. 119 USD. Uh, just got a Kohaku W. Congratulations. Oh, I think these don't need screws in the back. It's just the two over here. Yeah, they don't need screws. There's no screw holes there. That makes sense. All right. All right. So I'm assuming this is where the weight would go down the road. This little cutout over here. Kind of neat. All right, so let's plug this guy here in. Mm, where's the GST connector? Unlimited purchase. It'll be in stock according to Omnitype as well. There will be a weight option. Apparently in the future, there's gonna be a weight option. Ooh, okay, so one little change that he did too, which I need to just grab another one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just grab the other one here. I need to show you guys this. Okay, because this doesn't have the gaskets already in. All right. This was important to me because the original Bauer didn't have this, but see how the weight, the uh, place where you put the uh, things are slotted. There is slotted gasket things now. And I like what Omnitype did here too. There's no weird hanging, you can see over here, there's no weird hanging gasket. Kind of nice. About time I've seen boards with that. It's like a little extra effort for me that goes a long way, so. Bauer light in the flesh. Yes, sir. All right, let's put this down. And then now we have our next piece of the puzzle. How many gift it for you to eat a burger like Tim does? I should get a burger on the podcast. Maybe not tonight's podcast and then eat a burger like Tim does and see if that changes the way I, I feel about how Tim eats his burgers. I should really do that. That would be kind of fun, I suppose. Um, please, that would be hilarious. All right, so we're putting in these. Sorry for the sirens in the back. These are like the little bumpers that go on the top. Kind of reminds me of those bowl gaskets, slightly, but not really, because they're not weirdly flexible and hard to put in. Um, I thought the signs were outside my house. No, they're outside mine. <laughs> Unfortunately, mine. I think there's like a 
specific way you gotta put these in too. There's like a little tab on these that it makes sure that slot in nice too. Okay, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I'm just kinda, I could refer to the manual, but there's like a little tab, sort of, and it aligns with a tab on the back here. So you just gotta make sure these are lined up properly. Uh, 120, yeah, it'll be 120. Interesting. Again, I like non-adhesive gaskets, so this is a welcomed addition to any keyboard. What keycaps on the top? That is actually GMK Redline. We put those on yesterday, I believe. Was it yesterday? Did I stream that yesterday? I can't remember the day we put those on, but that's the, that's what we did. So this is also kind of neat too. There's uh, no gasket points on the top for the space bar, which is kind of neat. Interesting to see how that's going to affect the sound. Lead would actually be a needed coating for what? Sorry, lead. What are we talking about? Perhaps some neutral coated brass could be a potential route too. Oh, for a weight? Wait, what happened to the weight? What are we talking about the weight for? How about a zinc weight? Oh, because materials and stuff like that? Uh, that I know. I'm not a material specialist at all. That I am not sure. All right, we got the taco bumpers. So it doesn't stray too far away from what this board kind of like builds like from the original Bauer too, which is kind of fun. Uh, we prototype stainless steel weights so the color would be neutral and to not clash with any colors. So brass wasn't an option, but stainless steel is very expensive. So I'm testing lead. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Oh, I appreciate that. We got the little taco bumpers. Which we're gonna stick on here. Upcoming haze switches. I, I swear to God, these were in. I don't know. I thought I saw the on Key Spencer that they were in stock. Did I not see that? Now I'm curious. Hold on one second. I'm like I'm pretty positive they're in stock. Key Spencer. Oh yeah, they're in stock now. Yeah, I'm not going crazy, right? Cause I looked at them the other day just to like know that they say pre-order on this thing here, but they also say in stock. So I'm assuming they're in stock. If it's lead, Alex can no longer lick his boards. Guys, if it's lead, I don't know if I, oops. So maybe I can't quickly swing this over to the other side. Perhaps we should put it from the top down first. Uh, do it for the vine. So nice. Rumple, thank you so much, dude, appreciate you. Um, the vine, man. I didn't really get into vine when it was out. Not really much at all. All right. So I guess I'm having a bit of an issue with this. Do we put this, do I put these two in wrong? Why are these ones here slipping out? Uh, time for the tire weights. I guess I should go from the top down. Probably the easier route to do. Alex got his Kohaku, so that's a sign for a W tonight. I'm hoping if you guys go for that, go for the Kohaku and you get a win. I hope, I hope. Oh, did I lose a bumper thing? I did. The taco bumper came off. Oh no. Uh, I've always wondered how lead would sound with how dense it is. I feel like Lead as a material for keyboards, it's kind of a interesting Yo. move, but I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest, guys. I do not know how I feel about that. How, uh, it, by the way, Tofu Types, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. This is basically the assembly here. We're not using any foam initially, guys. If uh, we need to, we can grab foam later. Screws. Oh, 
with all my screws? Are those screws I used in the daughter board meant for this? I think I, I jumped the gun and probably used those. Uh, what's up, King? What's up, dude? You could literally uh, carve a case by hand with a knife and chisel if it were lead. People have joked around about that. Long JST is yummy. It's appreciated for sure. Well, let me just grab another case of the screws because I'm not too sure I used the right screws here. And quite frankly, oh, wait, are these the screws here? Never mind. I have screws. Were these the right screws? I'm not sure if these are the right screws, guys. That was fast. It's a pretty simple build. Let me actually see. Let's refer to the guide. Um, ba, ba, ba. We did that. All the screws in the whole board are the same to make it easy. Oh, okay. So it's literally the same screws then. That makes sense. So yeah, I was supposed to install it from the top down like that. So we did that. Flip over from the bottom. Installing the bottom housing. Insert the tabs on the front edge. I think I did that. Uh, the lower back side of the bottom until it's fully flush. I like this little build, guys. It's cute. All right, and then we'll put the everything else on. I think everything's already installed for us here. Well, let's uh, let's re let's reseat this for a second. So there's little tabs in the front. You just got to make sure it's sit. There we go. I think we got it there. I think so. I want to say. Man, this is such a really nice build guide. It is. Sorry guys, I'm just being thorough about this because I want to make sure I do it right. All right, should be good. This will make such an awesome gift. Oh yeah, true, that, this would be a nice little gift keyboard too. Hold on a sec. The screw got stuck on the side. Oh no, Mr. Screw, what is going on with you? Hold on one sec, guys. This is so nice for its price, yeah. I think for the back, though, I think I would like longer screws so this doesn't happen. I think the magnetic screws are probably like my only big point of criticism right now. I would like to see a magnetic screw. All right, let me do something quick. See, the screw got stuck on the side like this a little bit, so I'm gonna have to push it through. I think magnetic screws, very important to keyboards. Very, very important. It should be naturally magnetic. No, let me magnetize, maybe, maybe magnetize my screwdriver a bit again. No, these ones here aren't hit or miss depending on the driver. Oh, these aren't for me. You know what? I might need a longer bit too. Perhaps. Yeah. Hold on, I need a longer bit. This is too short. Um, do I have a longer bit? This is the question. Well, I can just do this. Uh, let me do something quick. How do I want to do this? An opaque bottom case would be nice. Yeah. Next bit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cheat the system a little bit. All the same screw size? Yeah. The only ones that weren't were the countersunk screws. Those weren't the same screw size. I need a longer bit, but I don't think I actually have a longer bit for this. Meowki official, thank you so much for the tier three, dude. Uh, the kit will come with all the drivers need it. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, thank you, Meowki, I appreciate you. Um, maybe this will work. Hold on, let's see this. Will this sort of work? Yeah, this should work. This works. Nice to see you, Mr. Alatos. 
Thank you, dude. Thank you, Meowki. Appreciate you. How do magnets, Alex, how do magnets work? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm not sure. Did Alex evolve? Did I change my Discord handle? Yeah, I'm a Latos now because we're missing an X. Can you explain gravity? Oh, I got sunny outside. That's crazy. Can you explain why you're so darn cute? Oh my god. I might have to close the blinds. Someone on Reddit said they, they made a Jairus, which is interesting. Wait, what? That it was made when the Jairus was interesting. Wait, for what? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Using GMK Redline set still? It's nice. I like it. I don't want to over tighten this. Even though it has threadings, I just don't want to like crank it. Okay, I think the longest part of this build might have just been putting in these back screws. I think they just need to be a small bit longer so they don't kind of. Ooh, this is pretty looking. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, this is kind of cute. Okay, oh, yeah. so far my criticism is this. I think the back screws, the four back screws, the only thing I think needs to be like, just looked into just a small little bit, just a smidge, a little bit longer so they don't kind of like, as they come down, they don't wobble sideways and they get stuck like it was happening for mine. Maybe that was it. Alex with the blip, uh, total concentration has been activated. Oh, what happened? What'd I do? Sorry. Is this light? It's very light. Not a lot of weight to this. Very pretty though. I might, again, I might have to close my blinds here in a bit, but let's see. What does this look like from the top? Very pretty. I like it. Fully built, this is kind of cute. Uh, no, it's light. What's the price range going to be? It's going to be 120. 120. Uh, what keycap set? Should I actually put dual shot? Actually, GMK Cube would be cool in this too. Should I actually do dual shot? Do it? That's such such treason, guys. I'm gonna close the blinds as well. That's such treason. We'll put dual shot though. Digital nightmares. Damn, I didn't order pre uh, GMK cubed. I think there'll be extras. Any GMK cubed? Zudit 420? You know, Zudit's a neat looking set. I don't know if it's my set. I don't know if I'd like, like love treat uh, that one there, but. All right, I'm gonna tune the stabs ever so slightly as well, because I kind of went super light on the stabilizers. Dracula would look cool too. There'd be a lot of nice sets on this. But uh, we're gonna stick to the set that's gonna be absolute treason on this, bro. Redact it would look cool. Cause this is a game, this is a Nintendo, Nintendo kind of colorway. We're gonna put a PlayStation set on it. A PlayStation inspired set, I should say. I don't wanna get anyone canceled. Thick plastic. I'm curious to see what this is gonna sound like. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's been a while since I built like a board like this. Does it come with stabs? I don't think it does, but it'd be kind of cool if it did. Ooh, wait, this might be really nice. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. Everyone chill. Uh, gray on purple kind of slaps. I think it will. Dude, yeah, this would have been sick with the step caps. No accents? None? What about accent... Accent arrows? That's it. That's all I want to do. Am I allowed to do that?
all accents too dark for purple? Okay, well, let's just put this set on and then we'll go from there. We'll see if we end up liking dual shot. I have a feeling that it'll look nice, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, sad. Too loud, she, she isn't a dainty board. This, you think this set's loud? I don't think this set's all that loud. Split backspace, remember? Hey, dude, you guys are you guys are pretty pog. No pipe key. I got you. I got you guys. Thank, thank, thank. You guys are too kind. Is this go here? I think I put the eye in the wrong spot, didn't I? Uh, why so early in the day? Why am I streaming so early? I don't know. Chase, thank you so much for the tier one. Guys, I I have listen. I love doing my seven o'clock streams, but lately. I haven't had the energy to. So these midday streams, for, they're temporary. They're not forever. But this is because I don't have energy late at night. Please more early streams, smile. Will do, man. It, my, the seven o'clock dude is like, please don't forget both wise. <laughs> uh, the seven o'clock streams have been a little tough. L lately anyways, until I get more adapted to this like routine of me going to the gym. I'm not even doing much, I'm just doing cardio. But until I can get adapted to that, this is a little easier for me to do. Tr truthfully. So. Um, nice to work from home and listen to the stream. Yeah, this is great. I love this time. Thank you guys. Not only do I greatly prefer this time, but 7 p.m. is busy with uh, bike rides. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, I feel like late at night's kind of tough anyways. I'm going to try doing my Mondays and Wednesdays um, here, like this time, because I just feel like I can. And then perhaps Fridays we keep a little bit later, because Friday kind of makes more sense to do it. Like, I don't know. As long as you guys are here chilling, it's all. Oh gosh. More early streams. Deal. You guys, pretty good job moving the stabs here. Pretty good job. L. Alex peaks middle day, the sun hitting his face. Dude, it's also I have more energy. Like the energy level middle day is crazy compared to late at night. Um, so it'd be the, the base kit. So basically the the uh, plate, the, the PCB and the, the case. Um, and then the keycaps and stuff would be extra. Maybe you can add to the build command, bowerlight.com. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, is Insty still in chat? Oh, can you add that to the build command? If not, I can do it here in like a hot second. Early streams means more streams with Simon. I need to reach out to Simon. Maybe me and him can do something again. I need to go bother him. I took his, oh God, the sun. This is the only thing I don't like about middle day stuff is the sun just peeks out randomly on cloudy days, so I can't have all my settings set properly. And I don't like having things on auto. The bot is dead? Oh, is it? The bot's dead? Uh, one second, let me figure that out. Stream elements. I I don't know, man, when Chozo's not here, life becomes a little weird. Uh, streaming tool, chatbot. Here, let me do this. Can I part channel, join channel? Try now, guys. Does the bot work? And then chat commands, custom commands. Yeah, it's working now. Build. All right, I'll edit it real quick right now, guys. And then let me just... Stop moving chat. Copy. Paste. Boom. I got you, I got you. We did it. Should be updated now. That's next to B. Okay, go to C. Scooped. Are you guys scooped or barred? 
Scooped is the only thing that makes sense in my life. Bowerlight is dead right now. Oh, did I type in the website wrong? Ah, sh I got. Do I have to put HTTPS? One second, one second. I'll fix it. Hold on. Try now. I'm gonna go with this color here. Which initially bar then scooped. Can I ask why, why'd you change? I love people that are into the scooped gang with me. Scooped just makes more sense. Twitch probably won't redirect it or something. Oh, probably, that, that's true. It's okay, I fixed it. What should I eat for lunch? Well, I, haven't, I haven't had anything to eat yet. But I'm confused on what I should do for food. Alt, that makes sense to go there. Function we need. Just sold my icky. I have no idea what board to get next. There are so many right now. There are so many good boards out. Guys, I think dual shot actually looks kind of nice on this. I just want to say. And I also think the PlayStation arrow keys look sick. I stand firm on no personally. Really? Max, thank you so much. Finally, after 50 years, I was but a young man when I first heard tell of this contraption. Now I lay on my deathbed, surrounded huh? by my loved ones, finally content to see this project come to fruition. Oh, <laughs> I know, dude, it has been a while. Yeah, it definitely has been. When, uh, when Garrett reached out to me and he's just like, do you wanna, do you wanna look at the power light? I almost died of shock. I was like, it's here. It's finally here. That's crazy. Okay, I need a few more keycaps and then we're almost done. A few more. There's the plus. All right, then I also need delete. And I think I tossed that to the side by accident. You guys see delete anywhere? Am I going up blind? Put the screen over here. And then top case. Wow, you guys are sick. Guys are actually too sick. Uh, then we need page down. This is the page down we need. And then I just need a page up, the proper page up. Should be a few, here it is right here. Perfect. Okay. I kind of like this with this set, just saying. I think this looks pretty good, just saying. I'm not gonna lie, these feet, a little slippery, maybe because it's just uh maybe maybe the prototype material needs to be looked into again. Maybe because it's so light. I think uh, that's my other little criticism is maybe a grippier kind of foot texture. Maybe that's it. Well, slide when you tight, probably not. There's a side profile if you guys want to take a look. Jotting that down, yeah, it's a little slippery. I definitely would make that a little bit more grippy. So my only two complaints so far, everything else, very simple, very easy to build. A little bit of a longer screw for the back here so it doesn't get caught in these wells on sideways when you drop it in. And then a grippier foot. That's a cool side profile, actually. It's, it's very basic in its shape, but there's that little bower lip. Cool, very cool, very pretty. There's a little little thing there from the injection molding. I'm not sure if those will be on the final units, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that's just a prototype thing. Oh, I don't know why it's not focusing on that front lip. Yeah, seeing the interior is cool. Mine says, I might think mine says not for not for sale on it, but it's kind of cool. I like it. You can see everything. 
Very pretty. The, the best I could do? Okay. Still not a ba bad thing to have. Are you guys ready to see what it sounds like? I like the vibe of this though, man. This looks sick. Uh-oh, she's gorgeous already. It's gonna be 119, if people are wondering. 119. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's see what the alphas sound like a little bit. HJ test. These are Lin years. Hello? That's not bad. This is no foam. It's kind of surprising, no foam. Do you guys think the space bar sounds a little bit dead? Hold on, let me, let me see about the space sounds bar Sounds like a keyboard. I actually don't mind the space bar in this. Definitely deeper. That is a long pull. Actually, technically it is a long pull on the space bar, but we could try a few other things. I, I don't know, dude, this sounds... Mind this. I don't think the space bar, I don't think every space bar needs to sound like this, guys. That's really good for 120 bucks. That's really good. Not gonna lie, Bauer just kind of sounds mad to me. Everyone has personal preference. Clean alphas really does look, uh, really does sound good as fuck. No kidding, I love that space bar. Yeah, it's all gonna be personal preference at the end of the day. I kind of think it's nice. That's crazy sound to me. You wanna hear it foamed up? Throw Nixies on them? You guys wanna see with a different space bar switch? I, I don't know, I kind of vibe with this already. It's very deep. Okay, I have my PBT space bar ready to go here because how do you people are gonna ask this? Kind of sounds the same to me. This sounds exactly the same. I it sounds identical. To me, this sounds identical. Do you guys think this sounds deeper? I stand corrected. PBTs, you think this is worse? This sounds identical to me. Oh. Here, this was CRP though. Let me try a different PBT spacebar. Uh, thank you guys so much for the subs, by the way. Expo, uh, Eon, thank you so much, guys. Let me, and Maximus, thank you too. Let me get a different PBT set. Um, okay, I'm just grabbing something at the very top. So I know this is not gonna go with it. Don't ask. This is the Ghostbuster set. This set sounds a little bit... That sounds very deep. So this was the Hammerworks CR, uh, the Hammerworks um, space bar. Damn, that kind of sounds insane with the, the PBT. Damn. Is this a board where PBT shines? Okay. Hold on, let me get a prettier, let me get a prettier one because I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this Ghostbusters one here. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab this set again. This is a different, this is Retro Light. It's a different manufacturer. I believe this is, who makes Retro Light again? I'm just looking at some uh, some different ones. Is it Milky Way? So this is Milky Way then. This one sounds a little thinner now. Stinky Way. I think this is my least favorite of the space bars. This particular one. I think ABS sounded good. I was completely happy with ABS. I was completely happy with the Novel Keys PBT. Um, a long pull, isn't the haze long pull though? I can grab a different, hold on, let me grab a different switch for you guys too. Let me, let me grab some switches, hold on a second. Or, I'm gonna grab a box of switches, actually hold on, bear back one second, I need to get them. Ooh, I think I'm out of a lot of long pull switches. Um, one sec. I have two other switches I want to try there. Let me see what else I got in this little baggie. No, bear with me. I could try a Nixie. And then we'll try a camping life switch too. <clears throat> yeah, we got a KTT switch here too. <clears throat> the colors on your desk uh, dual shot pop more in stream than IRL. Really? I don't think so. Dual shot's pretty vibrant in person. Unless my stream is going crazy with light right now, which I don't think it is. Okay, so this is a KTT grapefruit, I believe. All right, let's see what this is gonna sound like. I think this sounds pretty close to the haze switch. A little brighter, maybe? Geo, thank you so much for 20 months, man. 20 months. That's only cause I'd rate you 10 tenths twice over. Less Thank than you, dude. three. Appreciate you. Uh, let's try the Nixie. This should have like that signature kind of cherry. Oh, what did I do here? Did I? Ooh, the Nixie's kind of different. Ooh. The Nixie's nice. Let's try a few other things here. I think the Nixie's my favorite so far. And then let's try, let's try this guy here, the camping life switch. That's nice too. Why does it sound soggy? It's just deep. The Nixie is probably my favorite out of all of them though. Damn. Nixie's the best. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to the Nixie. I'm very happy with the way the Nixie sounded. Oh gosh, this one here is really good. What time is it? 
338 Eastern. All right, Nixie it is. Why does this sound wet? It's nice, I like that sound though, it's nice. That's nice. That's a nice little combo, actually. Nixie evens it out. I mean, yeah, this, this goes straight into like having a brighter space bar. That's surprising. So this is a $119 kit. Minus, like you have to add, sorry, I have to add switches and add keycaps, but. You know, a small part of me still likes the deeper space bar because it's different. I like maybe this one here a little bit too much too. Uh, I turned out some info about uh, this. Will be easier for you to read. Uh, oh, about the variations and stuff. Yeah, I can take a look at that. What mod should I do to my Keychron Q2? The spacebar is kind of mid. Try, I mean, you can try what we just did today. Just try new switches. Switches could be a big game changer. A different spacebar material can be a game changer. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the, the keyboard? Ooh, with no desk pad, it sounds good too. Giga value? Pretty mid? Oh, I think it's too far too long to produce or took too long to produce. Does it matter though? Cause it, I mean like, as long as it came out good, does the, uh, the, the time frame matter when it's like a good price? Unlikely to find better. I mean, it's a really, I think it's a really good price. Sounds like a hundred dollar keyboard. Uh, how do you feel this compares to something like the Tiger 80 Lite? The Tiger 80 Lite, I feel like you need it to have foam or else it doesn't work, if I recall correctly. Uh, it's very deep for non-foamed keyboard, yes. I'm just glad I didn't take this long after people paid. I mean, that's, that's the other great thing about it too, right? Reminds me of a Game Boy Color Purple. Yeah, there's gonna be a few different colors. I think Garrett put colors in a Slack channel we're in. One second, let me find out. Let me put this in here. Uh, sounds better than the Kara. The Kara definitely did not sound very good when it came to that kind of stuff. The Kara had some character though. I'm not gonna like shit on the Kara. Uh, Slack. So there's gonna be a gray, clear, purple, a sea foam, which is that the green one we, we showed you guys in red. The internal weight's probably gonna improve the sound. You know what's funny about that, Bruno? Is I don't, it might make it sound a bit brighter. That's about it. It just sound, uh, it's just like every other budget point at this point, honestly. So I don't disagree with that. I do think though, variety is, the spice of life when it comes to these kind of things. So if you were looking for a budget board and didn't like any of the other budget boards or you know, entry level, I don't like using the word budget. I think that's unfair because everyone's budget's a little bit different. At the end of the day, this is something, another option that you get to pick, right? It doesn't mean you need to buy it. That's the other thing, right? You don't need to pick something up. No one needs to buy it. But I think that if you have, if you were looking for something, um, I think this would be a, a good little alternative. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I feel personally. Bauer blockers on a budget board is awesome. Yeah, there's that too, right? Again, I don't think this is gonna be replacing anybody's like Envoy or, you know, anyone's like Sonnet or anyone's Key Cult or whatever, like whatever, I'm just making board names up right now, but like, I don't think it's to replace anything. I think it's a great entry level board. Completely great. Is there gonna be an Alu version? Uh, there already is the Bauer. I agree, there's so many other boards that stand out more than the Bauer, but this is a good option. And Mike Coppola just have a nice variety. Yeah, exactly. I, I, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, I did not know, it's okay, you toy. I think it's a great way to introduce homies to the keyboard community at affordable price. Yeah, I, I personally think out of all these like plastic entry level boards, this is definitely up there in terms of what I think is a good one sound wise and feel wise too. Like it's a nice, nice feeling board. It's not overly stiff for a hundred dollars. It can't be beat. Yeah. The more options, the better. That's kind of where I'm at with this too. That's, that's my standpoint. The more options you have, the better options and competition when it comes to this stuff 
are great. The fact that this is priced, I think, very fairly at 119, uh, where you get you know a good quality PCB from Wilba and all that stuff is is fantastic as well. It's hard to get this if Envoy exists in the same price range, both American market. So I w if I want cheap shipping for entry level board, Envoy beats it in everything. So this is another topic that I feel like is very important too. There's a six, there's a what a 70, 60, 70 dollar difference there. I I have to I have to have to bring this up. I know and I I want everyone to be open minded about this. You have to understand sixty dollars for some people is a lot of money. You have to be open minded to that. You have to understand that sixty bucks is some people's make or break. Oh yeah, this is one nineteen. It's one nineteen. So even if it seems like it's not a lot of extra money it's uh it is to some people like that that does mean a lot truly to some people uh can't go wrong but i think uk has a few people jaded on how they view but budget boards nowadays i i think personally the qk market and all those other markets they're still fine for what they are different direction but again just more variety right Uh, yeah, exactly. If you want to break it down to like math, it's like 50% more. Did I miss the sound test? You did. What's with the gray board over there? That's the Kohaku. NK NK65 needs an update now. Well, I think uh, Novel Keys is working on their own, you know, NK+. Plus. Mike's shown it off a few times. Uh, 120 board plus 60 switches plus 70 keycaps is a good starting point. Uh, I was gonna say I would appreciate this over the NK65. Okay, to, to go back to like the history of boards though, the NK65, when you look when you look back at like the entry level stuff, we said this at the end of the day too. I think we we're we we're literally talking about this. The NK65 was one of, I think, almost the first in that kind of category for um what it was. It kind of started that that direction of you know injection molded entry level stuff. So you got to respect it for that. Um, the, one of my first like solid boards. Yeah, exactly. In today's market, oh, hold on, it's blocking something. I'd also take who you want to support as a group of people who make up the company into equation. There's that too, for sure. I, I like what Carbon said too. There are some good people. Hold on. Oh, what did Geo say? It's kind of like how you're 150% beloved in this whole community. Oh my God, Geo, please, dude. Will it be a Canadian vendor? I th I don't remember actually if there's going to be. I think there's going to be international vendors. I'm not too sure. It's just math. 120 is insane uh, for Bauer aesthetic and solid zone. Yeah. And again, no one's forcing it. it my usual takeaway from all these type of streams, no one's forcing the money out of your pocket, right? No one's, no one's saying you have to buy anything. If this doesn't resonate with you, there's a, a lot of other entry level options that are really good right now as well. I personally think this is a very good entry level option with a very fun aesthetic, uh, cool little build, like all these little quality of life things they added to it as well is really fun, so. Um, what's going on Lysol? Thank you, dude. So nice. Fishing. NK outdated in today's economy, but it's the first of its kind. It is, yeah. I, you can't argue. It's still a solid, like the NK65 for what it is, still like a solid board, but I feel like there could be some updates for sure. Uh, better than the Apple keyboard. A lot of people upgrade from Apple keyboard. Lysol, thank you so much again, man. Um, Romer G switches. We don't talk about those. I got into the hobby before the NK65. And my best cheap option is the GMMK compact. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of, I think that was a lot of people's first options too. Like the GMMK stuff, all those things. You know what? Um, oh, I read that one there. Do you notice the 5% on the Bauer? I like lower, flatter boards, personally. I think that's why I really like modes, mode 80, originally too. Like that flatter typing style. When it's too raised, my, my wrists get a little bit fatigued. Uh, it's a great starting board. My fiance even loves hers. Yeah, like, again, this opens another conversation that I feel like Fuck, I feel like this is like a can of worm conversation because it's so hard to undo what people kind of already have put in motion. But with a pre preference-based hobby, like I've always said this, 
with a preference-based hobby where there's a lot of subjective things. It's hard to talk about what's outdated and stuff like that. Like for example, what if you're like the handful of people or a gr big group of people that still really like, for example, I don't know, the Rama's M60 where it was uh, integrated plate. What if you're into that? I, I'm, who am I to tell you that's an outdated design? Who cares? That's just a design. If it's an objective thing, like if the PCB is shorting and you need a new PCB because it's an outdated design, that's an outdated design because there's an objectively bad thing about it. But if there's subjectively, like if, if it's just subject to your own preferences, then fuck it, dude, who cares? But again, there are, it's hard, it's hard to kind of drill that into people's heads. Um, when again, there are others who kind of think the other way and, and preach the other, other shit like that, you know? I mean, the little hobbies built upon keyboards from like the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, no one actually, and by the way, as per my usual thing, nobody actually fucking needs these keyboards. You, you probably, if you probably bought a computer, you probably got a free Dell, Dell keyboard anyways. So you can still type on something. These are completely hobby driven. Like you, there are some, maybe some differences. I need them. Don't tell me that man. It's the truth. It's the truth of the matter that we don't like talking about. It's a hobby. We do it for fun. So have fun with your shit. There's no best. There's no anything. Just have fun with it, man. Uh, I don't like your truth. Okay, Tim. Are you ready for the, the thing tonight, Tim? What's the typing angle of the Bauer light? Um, I think someone said five degrees. It's, it feels a little bit lower for sure. Are you? I mean, yeah, I'm ready. I should eat first and then I'm... it'll be on Tim. Guys, if you guys want me and Tim, Tim Keyless in chat, guy with a little check mark, little show off in chat there, little check mark show off. Um, we're going to be doing a podcast tonight on Tim's channel. So go follow Tim's channel. And uh, it's not going to be really keyboard related. We're, we're just going to have some fun. Me and Tim are friends. So, like, we're just going to chat. The scuff streamer, yeah, that guy. Uh, so we're gonna have some fun doing that. We've been talking about it for a while, so we're, we're finally gonna do it. Yeah, there's the Timmy Moats. Coffee talk? I don't know, we haven't really decided on a topic. We have a whole bunch jotted down, but are we gonna kiss through the screen? Maybe. Gonna buy him one board and make it his birthday gift? For who, sorry? Oh, for your friend? Oh, that'd be a fun, that'd be a fun gift, for sure. Let's go. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right, guys, this was fun. I think this turned out great. Again, just to give you guys a little peek at the book again, the installation manual book. I like uh, the extra work, all the thought process that went into this. Gotta give it to Omnitype. I like this, this is fun. So very, very cool. Yeah, no corners were cut in the development. We set out to create a board that provides a high quality experience at a low end price. We're very proud of the final product. I think the product turned out great. I do. Can we see the bottom of it? Yeah. It'd be cool to see it with the weight too, because you can kind of see it peeking through, but the weight's not very heavy at all. Again, my, my major takeaways from this, the two things that I feel like one kind of almost needs to be changed, the other one, I'd like to see changed. So the one I'd like to see changed is the feet. They're a little slidey. Like this doesn't take much pressure for me. It's like a finger. So I'd like to see a grippier foot. And then I'd like these screws over here to change to be a little bit longer so that they don't slide in and get caught in the well. That's about it. A vibrant purple. I think this is pretty close to the NK64 controller if I remember. I'm pretty positive. I knew you would get the NK64 controller. A GST channel, maybe? Um, I don't think it would work well with this because it would probably pop out anyways because there's not like, there's nothing to hold that in place. Did I say N64? NK64. Guys, what, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, someone honked outside because they knew I said the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, they are injection molded. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much my stream today. Uh, it was like, I actually ended up being uh, somehow two hours. Uh, novel key shield confirmed. Okay, dude. Whatever. Was great. Just two hours? 
I thought it was actually going to only be like an hour because it's a hot swap. Uh, Dem blockers make me look uh, good. Yeah, the, the blockers are nice. Guys, I'm tired. I need to go take a little nap because, uh, yeah, the cardio is, is definitely fucking with me. I need to uh, go take a little sleepy sleep. I'm going to probably go talk to Tim really quick too. Daytime nap? Yeah. And then I'm going to go take some pictures and do some more work before I uh, eat some dinner. But uh, we'll be on tonight, and then I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. So hydrate, my guy. I've been hydrating all morning. I pinky swear it to you guys. It was fun. Yeah, it definitely was. Definitely, definitely was. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was a fun project. I liked it. It was very, very fun. Let's go see who we can go raid real quick, like. I'm going to have to hear myself talk. Oh, thank God. I muted it right away. Hell yeah. I like that. Let's go raid uh, Nova Keebs. Do you guys want to raid Nova Keebs? Hold on, let me type in his channel. Nova, un is it underscore Keebs? All right, let's go raid Nova Keebs. You guys got it. You guys ask and I shall do it. Nova Keebs. All right, you guys have a good one. Enjoy Nova Keebs stream. I will talk to you guys later. Um, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks again for Omnitype for letting me take a look at this. I'll have photos up of it soon so you guys can see some up close versions of it. But yeah, see you guys soon. See you guys tonight and then see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah to you too, Nomi. Appreciate you guys being here. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.